Hello everyone, my name is Lachlan. I write for Money Morning and I'm also an analyst on Exponential Stock Investor. Now today I'm going to talk a bit about the article where I make a point that traditional banking could be on the way out and that this is showing up in the gold and Bitcoin prices. Now this is all a long way off, but um, I just want to start by talking about the two opinions that are circulating in our publications at the moment. One of which claims that financials and banks in particular are looking cheap or a value proposition. And the other one says, well, this isn't quite right. Um, long term, if you look at the technological trends developing in the world, there could be an immense amount of risk out there for the traditional big four banks. So what I've got here for you today is the ASX 200 resources chart, which is matched up against the uh, banking index, which is XBK. So what this is showing is the blue line here, which is the banking index or XBK. It's significantly underperformed resources. And that could be hinting for at least some that the banks are potentially cheap and that once we get out of this mess, the banks will recover strongly. But I just wanna draw your attention to what's happening with the Bitcoin price. It's sort of pushed through resistance here at about just over 10,000 and is now sitting just below 12,000 US dollars. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And then you've got the price of gold, which had a bit of a sharp sell off recently after puncturing the $2,000 mark. So it's still, if you look at the long-term chart, a very bullish chart. And what I gently suggest in the article this weekend is that these two things taken together could be indicating that there is a decay of trust in fiat currency, which is potentially a long-term risk for traditional banking. And I link this to a discussion of CBDCs. And I've got a article here, which is from Coindesk, which sort of discusses the prospect of a digital dollar. Now, this is something that's been discussed for a long time, but it has yet to hit the mainstream. And I think going forward, you'll see more and more discussion of sort of digital dollar initiatives. And I say that potentially there could be a rearrangement of the relationship between uh, governments and uh, people's money. So this is potentially going to cut big banks out um, or they will be forced to evolve over the next 10 years. So when discussing whether or not to buy, or buy and hold uh, ASX bank stocks such as CBA, WBC, you just have to keep in mind that there are potential technological risks out there if you are thinking about a long-term uh, buy and hold strategy. So there's differing opinions. And in the medium term, you may see the bank stocks pick up if the economy recovers. But there's just a few things to keep in mind going forward about specifically technological developments in the banking space. So that's all I have for you this weekend. I hope you have a safe weekend and I'll speak to you soon.